Welcome to our tutorial on creating lines. First, let's insert a geometrical set. Select Insert, Geometrical Set. Let's call it 01. Click OK. Before CATIA version 5 release 14, geometrical sets were called open bodies. Now, of course, they're called geometrical sets. Basically, a geometrical set helps you organize the specification tree. This is very useful when you start to have too many elements. First, let's create a point. For the point type, I'm going to choose coordinates. The coordinates I'm going to leave at 0, 0, and 0, or at the origin point, then I'll click OK. Next, I'll select the line tool. If you want to create more than one line in a row, double click on the line tool. Under Line Type, I'll select Point Direction. I'm going to select the point I just created, and for the direction, I'm going to select the Z axis. Here we can enter the start and end point values. Let's say 100 millimeters. Hit the Tab key. We can also simply grab and drag the start and end handles to set the value. Let's enter 100 millimeters for the end value again and click OK. As you see, the line definition window reappears again. That's because we double clicked on the line tool to start out with. Let's create our second line now. We'll start from this point. We'll choose the X direction. The end will be at 100 millimeters. The start I'll leave as is for now and click OK. To close the window, click Cancel. Next, I'm going to create a point. The type I'll choose coordinates. My value will be 80 millimeters on the X axis. Tab OK. Let's create two more lines now. Under Line Type, Let's use point to point. Select this point and this one. Click OK. One more line now. Again, point to point. Select this point and the center point. Oops, I selected a line by accident. Let's do it again. Point to point. And let's select point 1, this time from the specification tree. Click OK. Now, if I want to change the coordinates of this corner or point, I've got less flexibility than if I want to change the coordinates or value of this point. I just simply double click and I change the value in the dialog window that opens. Let's say 60, 20 in the Z direction, and click OK. I can easily change the location of this point along the Z axis. Just double click on this line and change the end value to, let's say, 80 millimeters. Tab. If I want to move it in any other direction, I need to change the position of point 1 and create some reference geometry to use as a reference for the direction field. Let's cancel out for now. I'm going to create one more point on this line. First, I'm going to insert a reference plane. Let's click outside to deselect everything. Select the reference plane icon. For plane type, choose offset from plane. Let's select the XY plane. The offset value will be 20 millimeters. And we can reverse the direction if needed by pressing this button. Here we've got an option that repeats the object after OK. Let's check this. Once we click OK, we will get an object repetition dialog box. We'll leave the instances at 2. The dialog window asks me if I want to create it in a new body. 
Basically, what this is, is a new geometrical set. Let's deselect this option. Now let's collapse some of the branches of our tree. Oops. I accidentally clicked on the tree line, and the geometry became under-intensified. Next, I'll use the Intersection tool from the Wireframe toolbar. Select the first element, this plane. The second element will be this line, OK. Now we have our point. In the specification tree, instead of a point, it's called Intersect.1. Next, let's activate the Projection command. The type, I'll select Normal. Under Projected, I'll choose Intersect.1. Under Support, I'll select this line. Let's click Preview. And we see this point here. Click OK. In the specification tree, this point is called Project.1. Let's create one more line. I'm going to choose the Point to Point line type. I'll select this point, and that point, OK. Now if I want to change the position of this point, I simply click on Plane 1, and I change the offset value. Let's change it to 15, OK. Or I can simply double click on this parameter, which gives you the same options. Let's change it back to 20, click OK. By the way, the offset position of these two planes is driven by a formula. If I expand the specification tree, you can see the formula here. Double click to open the Edit Parameter dialog window. You see that the value, 60 millimeters, is now grayed out. Click this button to modify the formula. Right now, offset plane 3 equals offset plane 1 times 3. I'm going to change this to 4. Tab, OK, and OK. We see the position of plane 3 has changed. I'd get the same result by double-clicking on the formula. Let's change it back to 3. OK. And the plane has returned to its previous position. And this concludes our tutorial on creating lines.